What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another video for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Trevenia team made by That's a Plus One. So guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, link will be in the description below. Same thing with the EV spread, his Patreon, and the video of him playing them. So definitely go check him out because he made this team so good. This team looks awesome and I cannot wait to play it. So team consists around Trevenia right here with Trick Room, Leech Seed, will o -Wisp, and Horn Leech. This thing learns such good moves like Leech Seed, will o -Wisp for physical attackers, Big damage Horn Leech, which is like a better Giga Drain, and Trick Room to kind of counter up some Trick Rooms, or we can run it if they have the speed advantage. Then we have the T-Tar Extra right here. You know the Sandstream boys, but the T-Tar is actually running something different. It has a Chewy Scarf on it with Breaking Swipe, High Horsepower, Rock Side, and Crunch. So that can actually come in clutch for us. If we need that speed advantage, we can throw out our Chewy Scarf boy and just go from there. We got that Grim Snarl for setup with Trick and Eject Button. That can definitely come up big, kind of take out a Pokemon turn one. Adrenaline or Butterfree, if they're running Intimidate, we'll get that in there, have that speed advantage, put some Pokemon to sleep. And then our special attacker with this Gothitelle, Assault Vest Gothitelle in the back end with Fake Out, T-Bolt, Shadow Ball, and Size Shock for Stab. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Not the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely try it out. Let me know how you do with it. Seriously, I would love to get you guys feedback and let me know how you guys like Trevenant. And also let me know for question of the day. Who is your favorite ghost type Pokemon? For me, it's probably Decidueye. Decidueye is dope, but Trevenant is actually a close second. I really do like this Pokemon. The ghost and grass typing is awesome. Also, guys, if you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. It seriously does help the channel grow and just support it as well. But let's go. Let's hop into some ranked battles. We, yes, we want to borrow this team. Let's get going. This team looks dope. I really cannot wait to play it. Like, Trevenia is one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, just the way he looks when he was introduced. I think he was introduced in X and Y, I believe, right? Yeah, I think he was an X and Y Pokemon. But I remember seeing him like, dude, he is so dope. He is so dope. We are 120 and 114. Been streaming a lot playing. But so, if you guys want to check out more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Wow, we dropped a little bit. Every single week we shoot four plus days, but we dropped a little bit down to 8,700 something. I didn't get to see the last two numbers, but we're chilling. We're chilling. I love the name for this, Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. But we did drop a little bit from not playing for two days. Well, I play when I record, but that's only like three, four matches, but I haven't streamed in the past two days. So we dropped a good 2,000. That's one of the things that stinks about like going offline. It's just like, man, you're going, people are going to pass you, you're going to drop, and it's just annoying from there. But who do I see this team leading? This team has potentially a lot of different leads. Feminine's gonna be dope. We can lead the Sandstream boys. We can always lead that Butterfree. Butterfree's type nice. We have the fake out lead with that Goth of Hell. So anything could be good. This team is very versatile and can go many different ways. We're we gonna find an opponent. There we go. It, it, you just have to yell at it. You just have to yell at the screen. Like I said, I was like, are we gonna find an opponent? Like, yeah, sure, just take this opponent. <laughs> But here we go. Ooh, ooh, is that that's Mr. Mime? That's not Rhyme. He's not wearing that top hat. But he has a Whimsicott Inteleon, Togekiss, Mr. Mime, Basharp, and that Jelly Scent. I think Trevenant could be pretty strong here, to be honest with you. That's that uh that's that leech life that can do work on that Inteleon and that uh jelly and the jelly belly. Do we lead do we lead the boy? Do we lead the harvest? Trevenant. I love harvest. Harvest is dope. Um, I definitely want to bring my I might just wanna trick that Inteleon out because he's probably leading that Inteleon. He's going to be quite annoying. I could set up a Reflect for that Bisharp, but he's very special attacking. He is very special attacking. Does he have Intimidate? He has no Intimidate Pokemon, so Butterfree Adrenaline Orb is not going to pop here. I could rock out with the the Grimstarl. I could rock out with the Grimstarl right off the rip. Go Trevenant, T-Tar, Exodrill. That could work out. Or I can roll out instead of the Grimstarl. Instead of the Eject Button Grimstarl, I can definitely roll out with the Gothitelle Assault Vest. I think that would be totally better. Is this team into, uh more special attacking? Oh, I gotta delete everything. That is the worst. I gotta delete everything and repick my team. That is the worst. When you withdraw a Pokemon, everything else just drops down the line and usually mess up. I do that all the time. Like, I'll withdraw one last second and pick another one, and then my whole team will be messed up. My leads will be messed up. Wait, what do you mean? Let me get out of my face. But I think we should do pretty good here. We got the Salt Vest in the back. We got Trevenant. Dope Pokemon. I love it so much. I gotta reread what Harvest does. I know it can give you berries in match, but I haven't used it in a little bit, so I gotta reread that. We got the Citrus Berry on him. I forget how it, like, fully works. I know it has, like, a certain way of working. But guys, as you can tell, I changed up everything. I changed up my stream room. You guys can only tell by how the webcam looks. I got the lights up higher. I actually got them behind my monitor, which is pretty dope. I put up more soundproof foam, and everything just looks awesome. I wish you guys could see it, but he goes Inteleon into the Mr. Mime. I'm going to fake out the Mr. Mime and go for a lead sheet overall on the boy. 
But let me see what Harvest does once again, like I said. Harvest. May create another berry after one is used. Okay, so yeah, so that's what it does. May create another berry. I'm just going to Horn Leech over on the Italian, And I'm going to fake out on the Mr. Mime. I'm going to tell him to get out of here and give, give him a little bit of Klapskis. Let's see if he uh, withdraws that Italian. Maybe I should just throw a Leech Seed over on that side in case he does swap. This Horn Leech is big damage. Like, I love the animation for it. It just comes up. It's like, Horns. Yay! <laughs> it just takes him out. I believe it's like base 110. It's up there. It does some mean damage. It's a big base power damage. And it's stab. And it's stab with the dude. It, that's why I love Trevenant so much. Like, he learned some big moves. He's part ghost type. And who are you Dynamaxing? It better not be that Mr. Ryan. It better be that Inteleon. It better be that Inteleon. Yeah, okay. I was going to say. I saw the lead coming from that Inteleon. So he does lead the Inteleon and Dynamaxing. I totally saw that coming from a mile away. Once I saw the Inteleon, I'm like, he's probably going to lead me. Potentially Dynamax. Let's see what happens here. Mr. Rhyme's gonna. Oh, Mr. Mime gets a fake out. Okay, on you. That's fine. I was just gonna fake out you. That's chilling. You were gonna go for a hailstorm on my Trevenant. Can you eat this one, my dude? Eat it up, my buddy. My boy does eat it up, and he gets a citrus berry. His citrus berry is going to trigger, and our horn leech is gonna bring us all the way back up. So, this is pretty dope. Pretty, pretty dope. You're gonna lose some HP. How much damage are we gonna do to this thing? Tremonant's gonna come up big here. Stab coming in clutch, and we're gonna get all health back. Did we find another berry? Horn Leech. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Nice big damage right there. Give me all that HP back. Give me all that HP back. Did we find another berry? How do we know if we found another berry? That is my question. That is my question. I might swap my boy now. Potentially seeing a uh, double ice move rolling into him. But how do we see if we get another berry? Does it just tell us? I don't think we did. Hmm. Or may create it whenever. I could just go into my T-Tar and have that choice scar and set the Sandstorm instead. That is exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to get the Sandstream set up. And we're just going to T-Bolt into the Inteleon. Potentially taking it out. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Let's go. Let's get it. I think it will take it out as a special attacking. But we will see in just a second. But it's not stab. It is not stab. The Sandstream's gone, so Ice Moves are going to be... going to be gone. They're going to be gone. But I can see maybe a Blizzard trying to roll up from the Rhyme. Oh, no. He's going to go Helping Hand. Probably try to take out my Gothitelle or my Trevenant. Go after, oh, an Airstream and my Gothitelle. Eat that up, Gothi. Yes, sir. Gothitelle with that Assault Vest coming up big. That's going to be type nice. You are going to boost both your Pokemon speed, which will most likely add speed my Tree Scarf T-Tar. Not 100%, but hopefully this T-Bolt can take out. Let's see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big T-Bolt takes out the Inteleon. Nice little swap by me. We still have that boy in the back the trevenant and we have our uh sand rush extra drill and our dynamax so match one's looking pretty solid for us guys looking so far so good uh who's he gonna go into i s mm, what do i do here what do i do here? i could swap my extra drill in here extra is gonna be my probably my dynamax boy once i get him in here with the sand stream rolling he'll be outspeeding everything he has that life orb so big damage coming in and t-tar's just chilling here big boy t-tar has that choice scar uh I gotta see what move I'm gonna go into. I have to see what move I'm gonna go into. Potentially, I wanna try to get into that crunch as it is stab dark type. But it really depends on what Pokemon he throws out. So he throws out the jelly scent. The jelly, the jelly belly, and I think we are gonna go into stab crunch. Let me look at his other Pokemon before we do pick this. I think crunch is probably one of our better options. Like, it's super effective to both of these guys, and I'd rather go after this jelly scent before it goes into a what's it called? Before it actually goes into. What is it called? I'm trying to think. A uh, strength sap. That, that's what I was trying to think. Of. A strength sap on my T Tar, which will be fine. Like, I'm chilling with that. We're gonna drop our speed here. Smart play, smart play. And I will my Goth Tail. I don't know if my Goth Tail is gonna outspeed that Jelly Scent now. But I want my Goth Tail to outspeed that Jelly Scent. I wanna double into it. I'm not really too worried about the Mr. Mine. But we are competitive, which is huge. So if we do outspeed, we are going to take out this uh, this Jelly Scent. Because a Crunch and a What's more. Ooh, the Crunch might do it. No, Crunch doesn't do it itself. Curse body, no more crunch. Oh no! I should have, I should have realized that. I should have totally w realized that. That's tough news. That is tough news. Do I just Dynamax here? Do I Dynamax my T-Tar? Would that be the better play? No, I don't think we Dynamax a T-Tar. I say we save it for the exit drill. Like, oh my lord! He's gonna struggle out. I should have noticed that. I totally should have noticed that. We are choice scarf, and that thing is probably rocking curse body. That's rough. That is rough news. That is totally rough. <laughs> that is terrible. 
Uh, Whimsicott, let's get the pop. Okay, so it's a Whimsicott versus... Okay, I think we're chilling here. I think we have this one kind of wrapped up pretty nicely. I'm just going to go into a Shadow Ball over on the Mr. Mime. Try to deal some big damage. We can't do anything with our Pitar. We can't even Dynamax, which stinks. Right? It didn't even give me the chance to, like, hit the attack move. He's just going to struggle out here. <laughs> He's not even going to do, like, any damage because he is burned as well. All right, Titar, you're just there to tank up, my dude. But once I get this extra drill in, I can just uh, take out Pokemon one by one. So I think we are chilling. I think we got match one in the bag. I think we're chilling. But there's still something in the back of my head saying that there is a potential that this guy might pull something out of his buns and get the win. Like, you know, maybe like a lucky crit or something along those lines. Let's see what happens. A freeze stride does come up here. Oh, my Titar. Yes. Okay, go ahead. You can take out my Titar as much as you want. You get a crit. That is totally fine. And Dazzling Gleam is going to take out my Gothitelle. So Gothitelle goes down. It's down to my extra drill. Basically just my extra drill, not my Titar. And I say I just take out the Mime. Titar has no moves left. He struggles. Yes, struggle up. <laughs> he will survive this turn. He will survive this turn. The Buffets are going to pop out. And I'm going to take out that Mr. Mime. I think over the Whimsicott. I think we can take him out both one shot each. Extra should have the speed advantage. We have Max Rockfall. We have Stab Iron Head. Like, someone's going down here. Someone is going down. <laughs> and we have Sand Rush. So we are totally outspeeding. D Maxin. Steel Spike is super effective to both. I'm going to take out the Mr. Mime here. He's kind of annoying with the ice moves. And he'll potentially get it like a freeze on me. Like, I just know that for a fact. You guys know that too. Like, it's just going to. He's just going to get the luck factor, get the freeze, and just start running me. And it'll be annoying. But look at that little Jolly Trot he's rolling out with the Mr. Mime. Just look at that. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, I saw my Trevenant in the back, don't I? I do. This game is over. I saw my Trevenant in the back. You can take out my T-Tar, my dude. <laughs> I totally forgot I have my Trevenant in the back. I swapped it out after getting big damage on that Inteleon. But yeah, this one's wrapped up. Totally forgot about the Tree Boy. Na -na 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 -ba -do -do. You're going to fake cheer me, my dude. It's okay. Your mime's gone. Your mime is gone. I'm outspeeding him. You yeah, get him. Max Steel Spike. Ch -ch -ch Bow. Bye, Mr. Mime. Game set match, right? This is his last two. We took out. Who did we take out? I forget. I totally honestly forget. The Inteleon and the. Bu -bu -bum. Wait a minute. Yeah, Inteleon and the Jelly Set. This is his last Pokemon. He's going to cancel this matchup. Titar has no moves left. Titar is going to take himself out. He's going to use the Struggle Bug move. Bang. Hits him. Kills himself. <laughs> Bye, Titar. Thanks for coming. Thanks for setting the sand stream up. Helped out a little bit, my dude. And he did a big crunch damage. Gotta give it to him. Now our boy Trevenant is gonna come in the back end. Look at him. Yeah, Trevenant. Yeah. Yeah, my dude. He's probably just gonna cancel. This match is totally over. A little bit of steel spike action. And I'm just gonna throw some leechy. No, leechy do not work. I guess I'll just burn it. No, I'll just go for a horn leech. Have some fun with it. <laughs> steel spike for the win, baby. 1 0 with this team. Pretty nice, pretty solid. Love to see it. Love to see it. But that one pretty solid. Like I knew he was going in with that Inteleon right off the rip, so I did leave that Trevenant and then had that fake out with the Gothitelle. But it's good to know that my Trevenant can eat an ice, well, a hailstorm from uh, an Inteleon, a max hailstorm. It brought us down like 18, but then we Citrus Berry up, and then we got the Leech move off, which brought us back over 100, which is type nice. And then we can eventually harvest and get another berry. Which is awesome, but we're going to continue battling here. Try to go 2-0 with this team. Keep rolling out. Trevenant, yes, sir. Ooh, go up to 6,991. Nice. Nice, guys. Going up against another Milotic. I've been going up against a lot of these things recently. The Milotic is probably running Coil, Recover. It's that competitive Milotic that's been taking over the meta right here. He possibly has an Intimidated Arcanine. So I'm going to roll Adrenaline or Butterfree right in the front spot. Potentially get that speed boost. And roll from there. He has a Butterfree of his own as well. Of his own as well, so I might just go into a Trevenant right off the rip. I feel like that could be totally good. I think that could be pretty strong here. And then we can definitely go into a... What do I want to roll into from here? Sandstream team? That could work well. Sandstream could be dope. Especially in the back end. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we're going to roll out with that. And go from there. Because we have this Butterfree, we have the Trevenant, we can potentially set up Leech Seeds, Burns, all that good stuff, and get rolling from there. The T-Tar's probably weakness possibly, so I gotta watch out for that just a little bit. Get a burn on that thing. I definitely gotta get a burn on that. That uh, T-Tar is a half the physical damage. But big plays, big plays. But like I said, this Milotic's been crazy. It's been on the ladder for a good bit now. Probably the, the past month you've just been seeing it roll out here. But the Arcanine Wimscott has come out. Show me this thing is intimidated. 
And I think is intimidated. And I can pop my adrenaline orb. It is intimidated. Dropping my attack. That's fine. Our speed's going to boost here. I mean, that speed boost. Adrenaline orb comes out here. Uh, do we think that Wimscott is going for a taunt? What do we really think is going to happen here? Hmm. I might just swap out my boy and try to put this thing to sleep. Let's swap out my dude and try or I can set up a lead scene. Hmm. My Butterfree should be able to outspeed unless he gets a Tailwind up. That's like the scary part here. He gets a Tailwind up. That's, that is, a uh, actually scary. But I could totally just swap out instead of Sandstorm. Could do that. This thing could be going for a Taunt. Uh, but, but, but. If it goes for a Taunt or Tailwind, then uh, we could be sitting in trouble. So I'm definitely going to just play it safe and swap my Trevenant out and go for my uh, T-Tar in here. But I'm kind of scared what happens. Okay, so he does withdraw. Maybe we should just stay in there and the Milotic comes in here. Okay, cool. We can put the Milotic to sleep. That's actually big for us. I got to get my Trevenant back in here. <laughs> I got to get my Trevenant back in here. Or I can D-Max him. Or I can D-Max my T-Tar. This tree Scarf. But it's not going to do too, too much here. But I want to get my boy back in here. I want to get my Trevenant back in here. Ugh. It could have been tough. Sleep Powder does pop. Or I could just get my Extra Drill in here. I could get my Extra Drill up in here. What is that Wimscott going to do? Trick Room. Okay. I'm going to get my Trevenant uh, back out here. Over the... What's it called? Over the... The Butterfree or the... Hmm. Who should I really go in with? I'm going to get my Trevenant out for the T-Tar. This is tough. Because we got to put the Leech Seeds on. We got to get some Horn Leeches going. All that good stuff got to come around here. So I'm going to actually fight here. I could Palm Puff. I could Protect. But no, I'm not going to. I'm going to actually try to land a Hurricane on this one just got here. And then I'm going to swap my, my T-Tar back out for my Trevenant. I totally thought he was going to go into a Heat Wave here. I really didn't think he was going to go into that. But come back out, Tree Guy. Come on, my dude. We're going to set up some Leech Seeds, some Horn Leeches and all that good stuff. We're going to get rolling with this. I would think it's slumped. Do we land this Hurricane? That would be tight, guys. Hurricane comes out. We do land it. Stab Hurricane. Potentially KO. Yes, sir. Bye-bye, Whimsicott. No Tailwind for you. He did get the Trick Room. That is whack. A Trick Room Whimsicott? Like, when do you see those things? When do you even see those things? Uh, I can see the Arcanine potentially coming back out, but I can see my Trevenant being a little bit faster, but... Then I might have to swap back out. Oh, my Lord. I do not know what to do here. <laughs> a little confusing. It's got to be the Arcanine coming back out for the Intimidate. It's got to be a fact. Yeah. Arcanine comes back out. Oh! What do I do on this thing? Intimidate. I'm going to try to put that thing to sleep. He's probably going to take me out. That is a fact. Actually, did we outspeed or are we slower than that thing? Let me go for the sleep powder here. Hmm. Just Horn Leech this thing. I'm a Horn Leech. I don't see a Heat Wave taking out my, my tree dude. My tree guy. Where's he D-Maxing? Oof. Ooh. He is demaxing. Oh no! Oh no! Maybe I should just got my extra drill out here. It's fine. If you take out my butterfree here, that's totally fine. My extra is gonna come rolling out on you, my dude. But still, then he outspeeds that. Then he outspeeds that. Maybe we just demax the T-Tar and drop a rock on him. <laughs> that might be our best call. Might be our best call. But let's see what happens here. Butterfree, go first. He's slower. Or leech goes. Yeah, uh, you. Nice damage, but who is he going after? That's my question. You going after my Butterfree? I'd rather you go, you go after my Trevenant. Let's see what happens. My take is slumped. Slumped dog over here. You're going to go for a Max Flare over on whom? My Butterfree, I presume? Yes, Butterfree. Bye. Butterfree, no! Uh, I think I'm going to bring out the T-Tar. I think I am going to bring out the T-Tar here. I think I have to Dynamax the T-Tar. I think that's a fact. I think that's a straight fact to, to Dynamax the T-Tar. Oh my lord, this is so annoying. Hmm. Yeah, we have to Dynamax the T-Tar. T-Tar might actually go first. And be able to drop a big rock on this dude. Yeah, we get the Sandstream back. No more Drought action. <laughs> I think we're going to try to set up a Leech Seed on the Milotic. Just to get some health recovery back into me. And we're going to drop a nice little Rock Fall over on Arcanine as it is Stab. And then we're just going to bum, 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 Leech Seed over on you. I don't think we need the Trick Room. I think the Milotic is going to be... Or the Trevenant is obviously the slowest on the field. And then it goes Milotic. But then I think it's going to go T-Tar. Then Arcanine as the fastest. So now he is the slowest. Yes. That's how it works. 
Come on, man. What you want? What you want, my dude? Yeah. Yeah. What you want? Twist Scarf Dynamax. And usually, you, you don't really want to Dynamax a T-Tar with this Twist Scarf here. But... Kinda, kind of our last option here, because he dumps on our x he dumps on our Treviant. I thought maybe we could get that Arcanine to sleep right off the rip, and then just take him out from there. Let's see, let's see. The Treviant gets the Lead Seed off. Hopefully this Milotic is asleep one more turn. That would be actually type nice. It could potentially set up a double Lead Seed. Milotic wakes up. Oof! Blizzard miss both of us. T-Tar avoided. Oh, double miss! Oh, we called that! Let's go! Rockfall. Is this Rockfall going to take out? It's going to be close. It's kind of close. Oh, oh, what the, is this thing sashed? He's gotta be sashed. He's not even sashed? What is this? What is this? He's literally on one. He's legit on one. That is whack. That is so whack. He's legit on one. Titar eats though, or Trevenant eats though. Man, Trevenant, not Titar. Oh my lord. I think legit survived on one. I can totally see a potential max guard. Um, bum, 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 bum. Leechy's gonna pop. I'm just gonna go into a Horn Leech here. Deal some nice little damage on this Milotic. Buff is gonna pop. And I'm gonna force I'm gonna force an attack over on the, the Arcanine. I'm just forcing an attack over on that thing. Keep the pressure on the Milotic, keep the pressure on the Arcanine. It's probably max guarding, but I just gotta keep the pressure on. I really do we just have to keep the pressure on him. Uh, we can go for a special defense bop. A little special defense, a little boost. And then we go into a nice little horn leech over on this thing. Over on the Milo, which you want Milo tick, but we gotta get this thing out the way. I can't believe you survived on one. It was like this much, like teensy tiny bit. But it was like, bruh, like it went down so fast. The barge was was like, Meow, and then it just stopped. I was like, what you mean? <laughs> one HP. Guard, obviously. I should have just went after Milo tick. Like, I see it, but it's just like, bruh. One leech comes out here. Yeet. Take him out. Oh, wait. Big damage, baby. Was that a crit? Was that a crit, my dude? Let's go. Crit. That makes up for that Arcanine surviving. <laughs> HP back to full. Trevenant coming in clutch. He still has his berry. Leechy's going to go off this Milo tick. And then the Quake is just going to go off against him. It's fine. It's chilling. Um, who's going to come out here now? Is Whimsicott? No, we took out the Whimsicott with the Hurricane. Whimsicott dimensions go back to normal. So Arcanine is going to be the fastest here. Arcanine is going to possibly take me out. That is scary. That is some scary news. Sylveon comes out here. I kind of want to see that, Sylveon. But I think we're chilling as we have our Excadrill in the back. We have our Excadrill in the back end. Excadrill! But he can't change the weather now, which is tight nice. He cannot change the weather. But actually, going to get a little bit of love in here. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I think I'm just going to take out this Arcanine. With that, and I'm going to leech seed. Ah, no, 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 no. Actually, yeah, we, we gotta do that. And then we're just gonna leech seed over on the Sylveon. How to get rolling from there? Potential 2 0. I'm not gonna jinx myself this time. Will O Wisp comes out. That's pretty smart, but it's fine. We have our extra drill in the back. And then the Hyper Voice comes out here. We should be able to eat. Yep, we do eat. I knew it was gonna be big damage, though. Our Citrus Berry pops out here. Potential Harvest coming out as well. And we'll be able to take out the Arcanine. And set up a lead seed on this uh, Sylveon and then go into our extra drill and hit him with a steel spike and potentially just KO. Not steel spike, a nice little iron head stab. We have the speed advantage as well, so we are chilling, we are chilling. Now, I don't want to jinx myself. We have the special defense boost as well. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. We're not jinxing ourselves like the last video. Last video, I was like, yo, we got this win in the bag. And then it was just like, they double hit me and we both died. I was like, bro, what you mean? <laughs> But Buffett's come out, Leech Seed's gonna pop a little bit, but my Tremant is probably gonna go down next turn into another Hyper Voice. Unless my Extra just takes out one turn. But I seriously do think we have this one wrapped up. You are gonna outspeed. Oh, we harvest! We got another Citrus Berry. Did we eat it right away? Yes, we harvest! <laughs> Yo, the boy! Tremant might be able to survive another shot here. Harvest again, my dude. That was dope. <laughs> He was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take another berry. But our Twist Scarf does come up. This could be big. This could be big because we are Twist Scarf now. We might be able to outspeed. What do we want to pick into? We go Rock Side. Maybe get a flinch. It's going to be the plan. And then we will just Horn Leech this thing. Get him. Get him. T-Tar, show me you outspeed. Yes, the Twist Scarf coming up. Show me that flinch, though. Show me that flinch, though. Show it to me. No, nope, Hyper Voice probably going to double kill here. Nope, Trevenant survives with that defense boost. With that special defense boost. Gives Trevenant another turn. 
Leech is gonna pop. Maybe we can harvest again. And we get some Horn Leech here too, as well. But we're getting some HP. This thing's tanking up here. Let's go, Trevian. Give me my Leech Heat. Show me that we find a berry. That would be honestly hilarious. Just three berries in three turns. Just mwah, mwah, mwah. Leech Seed almost takes out. Leech Seed almost does take out. Oh, legit one HP. Come on, I just want to find another berry just to have it. Oh, we did! <laughs> He found another one! <laughs> Three berries in a row! This thing's OP! This thing's OP! All the berries are ours. All the berries. Now we go to extra and finish up this second battle, dude. Trevenant is an absolute beast! Absolute beast! Three berries in a row. That is hilarious. Unlimited berries. Unlimited berries, guys. That is honestly funny. And then we just go into a horn leech and wrap it up. Wrap it up! Game over. Game over. Big win on the rank ladder. Now we can hop into our third and final battle for this video and try to go 3-0 with this squad. So I'm thinking this guy is going to roll out with the Belly Jump Snorlax here. I really do think he is. This team's kind of throwing me off with that Seismitoad in there. Like, I don't really know what that Seismitoad is here for, but Trevenant is probably going get to the, get the go here. But if you are hanging out with me in the third and final battle, you guys already know the deal. Give me a hashtag. Mm, let's go Trevenant Squad in the chat. In the chat lets me know who is hanging out and who watches the videos fully through. But Trevenant is going to get the lead. I think the lead is nice. Unless he goes Togi. Unless he goes Togi. And I think I might go Butterfree here just to get that sleep. Or do I go for Fake Out? Or I could Fake Out a Pokemon. And Trevenant could roll, put up a burn on somebody. Uh, let's go Gothitel. Where do I go? No, let's go, go, let's go Grimigrim. Let's go Grimigrim into Trevenant and then Sandstorm? We could potentially play a trick here, which could be type nice. Sandstorm's gotta come in here. Sandstorm works so well. It really does. We could definitely play a trick soon. I do have Fake Out with my Grimstar as well, so I think this is the better call instead of going into that Butterfree as he has that Adrenaline Orb. There's really no Intimidate Pokemon. There are no Intimidate Pokemon, so I really do like to play him with that Intimidate, like in that last match. We got the, uh, was it Intimidate Arcanine, right? Yeah, we got the Intimidate Arcanine. Got the speed, put the Milo Tick to sleep, and then rolled out from there. And but we did get that big crit from our boy Trevenant and unlimited berries, unlimited berries, which is dope. Snorlax Vanellux comes out here. Snorlax Vanellux. So Hale's gonna get going with the snow warning. I don't know why it's called snow warning. Like snow warning should mean the snow should come in a couple turns, or the next turn should just be called like hailstorm. I don't know. <laughs> but we could go with the with the will o' wisp, or I could uh. Let's see. I'm just gonna leech see this boy. I'm gonna leech see this boy, and I'm definitely gonna go into a fake out on the, the Snorlax. I'm gonna fake out the Snorlax here. Kinda hold off if it's going for a belly jump. Who's protecting? He's protecting. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We'll get the fake out off here and be rolling from there. Fake out. Yeah, yeet. I might wanna swap now. I might wanna swap my Trevenant now. Considering he's probably just gonna try and he's trying to get our sashes off if we are holding any sashes, then roll into a blizzard. So hail buffets are flying, they're all flying. I could set up a reflect. And I kind of just want to get a leech seed off. I really do want to get a leech seed off here. But I could change the weather. I'm gonna change the weather and set up a reflect. Set up a reflect, which will be type nice. So is this thing belly drum? I got it. That's my question. Is this thing belly drum? I can see a blizzard coming in here, but now there's no hail. Sandstorm is rolling. We get a reflect. I can totally trick it as well too. So I'm waiting for him to potentially roll a belly drum. Because if he does roll the belly drum, we know he's Dynamax next move, next turn. And I know both my Pokemon will outspeed. Blizzard pops. Who's it missing? Good thing we went away from this. Good thing we took out the, the hail here. But Titar eats that up. Let's see what happens here. He gets a crit. What you mean? Hammer arm. Okay. Oh, Titar avoids. So this thing is not going for a belly drum. There's no need to trick it out here. I mean, I could trick that Vanellux just to get it out of here and take its item off. Or I could take that uh, Snorlax's berry off of him. It could be Gluttony. It could be Gluttony. Totally could be Gluttony. But that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give this thing no item. We cannot harvest its berry back. Let's just go trick. Let's just trick this thing out before they do hit us because he is going to hit us with a Blizzard. And once he hits us with the blizzard, then the eject button goes to waste, and we just swap out. I mean, that could, it could be type nice. He does protect. That is wonderful. That is wonderful that we actually go into this. Protects itself. Trick comes out here. Give me your eye papa. It's, is it an eye papa? It's a type of berry. You, we know he's eating a berry. Give it to me, baby. Eject button. We get. Oh, a normal gem. This thing probably had a, 
Oh, wow. Good thing we took that thing off, but that thing's going to do some big damage with some normal moves. Might have self-destruct on it. I think we took that thing out the way. Check button pops. Dude, that, that would have been scary. He has to have, like, self-destruct on him. <laughs> or explosion. Woo! Good thing we did. He was going to burst on us, dude. <laughs> he was waiting for him to go low health. I thought he was holding a berry. This thing is, like, a totally different Snorlax. He rolls into the Seismitoad. I could get back in my Trevenant. Here. That could be tight nice. Um, I have the Reflex set up as, as a physical attacker. I could Rock Slide on you, and then... Hmm. Can I trick this now? Can I play another trick? We do have a normal gen, and I could take off this thing's life form. I think this thing is holding a life form. I'm gonna trick it and take it off. It's gonna withdraw who? The Seismitoad, and who's he going back into? Going back into the Snorlax? Dude, was that a read? Was that a read? Was that a read? <laughs> well, he just gave me back. I gave a normal gen. I obtained. Wait, now I have no item. Now I gotta take a six item. Big damage. Bye bye, Vanellix. Um, I could double up on the Snorlax, to be honest with you, and just take it out. That That is rather scary that he just read that. I don't know if he read that or he was just like, I'm gonna swap it to the Snorlax. But I can totally see us just taking that thing out. I think it has to have explosion or self destruct. So I kinda gotta get it out of the way. Unless he goes to Toad Kiss, that could be scary. Oh, he has his own grip snarl. Potential fake out here. I'm gonna go rock side. Do I, do I trick it just to get it out of here? Or do I go for the kill? I'm going for the kill. I'm doubling into this thing. I'm doubling into this dude. Go fake out, obviously. Oof. Into that. Can a rock side take it out or potentially make it flinch? Let's go. Come on. Come on, T-Tar. Take it out. Oh, my lord. Make it flinch. Grim snarl flinches. Hammer arm comes through. Okay, so he didn't explode. The hammer arm is coming in here to take us out. But Snorlax is gone. That's fine. Kind of did our work here. Got rid of the Vanellox. No more hail. Snorlax is gone. Now we know his last two Pokemon in the Seismitoad and the What's It Called. And the Grimstone. So, with all that going on, I can just go into my Trevenant. I could put a burn on the Seismitoad as, as it is a physical attacker. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I am going to do that. Or I can't get my extra draw out here. As it is Sandstorm. Yeah, because we're not going to Dynamax the Trevenant. We are not going to Dynamax the Trevenant. We are just going to roll out here and Dynamax the extra. Have the speed advantage and do some damage on this on this boy right here, on this seismic thing. I kind of want to get this thing out the way. I need him gone. We're just going to roll out here. We could go Steel Spike. I think mm, no, no Steel Spike. Um, We're gonna, just going to go Quake. And we are going to Quake this thing as a stab. Throw that on there. And then we could just go for a Spirit Break. Is our Reflect still up? Let me see my Reflect before we do do anything. Okay, one turn, yeah. So we'll set up the Reflect next turn and just go into a nice little Spirit Break. Or I can just trick this thing and take its item. Yeah, I'm just going to trick this thing and take the Seismic Toad's item off. Because I do think it's Life Orb. I said this earlier. I really do think it's Life Orb. We're going to see a double D-Max here probably into the Seismic Toad and the Extra Drill. I have my Trevenant in the back with this Unlimited Berries. You guys already know the deal. We pulled three berries in a row. Well, we had our first berry and then pulled back-to-back -back berries. It's like, bruh. All the berries, man. All the berries. Things OP. Things a beast. Extra gets the D-Max. I love its little, like, spike on its head. I always love that design. Like I said, double D-Max. It shows that we outspeed because our animation went first, which is pretty nice. We think this thing's Garden. I think he's trying to go into, like, a Max Geyser to switch up the weather. And it's, like, last chance here. But if we trick this thing first, we could totally take off its orb. It's gotta be orb. It's gotta be orb. Orb, orb. Like, I'm just thinking it's orb. Like, I just can't see any other item on him. Big Tear's gonna roll out here, which is rather scary. I know we go first, though, which is type nice. And we can take off whatever he's holding. Give me that. What do you got, buddy? What do you got? Show me the life orb. Which items with his target? Oh, a Mystic Water. That actually, that's kind of like his life orb anyway. It's gonna boost water type moves. That's fine. Max Quake comes out here. We do a decent amount of damage. If we can eat up this turn, I don't know if we'll outspeed next turn if he takes out the Sandstorm. Let's see what happens here. But as long as my Grimstone comes up here, we have the Reflect up here. I can potentially put a burn on it, but I think a Horn Leech will, it's four times effective because it's ground and water. And Extra Eat? Extra does not eat. That is some heaping amount of damage. Not even with the Mystic Water. That is some big, 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 big damage. Um, I'm going to set up another Reflect here. I really do wonder what this thing's going to go into. I really do wonder. Reflect wears off, so we have to set up another Reflect. And this Horn Leech has to come up big. Horn Leech has to come up big. Trevenant, let's go, my dude. Let's go. I need you here. We can go 3-0 with you. We can go 3-0 with you. 
So Horn Leech coming out here. I could set up a trick room. Reflect. Gonna set up here. Who do I think he's going after? Ooh, this is some tough calls here. This is tough, tough. I know the fairy's super effective, so we might try to take on my Grimmsnarl with the boy. Sucker Punch comes flying through. You hunk of junk. Oh, we eat that. And our berry comes out here. So hopefully he goes for my Grimmsnarl. Hopefully he goes for my Grimmsnarl here. Go for my Grimmsnarl. The fuck sets up. Mm. Go for my Grimmsnarl, please. Go for my Grimmsnarl. We can potentially take this thing out and then uh, get all of our HP back. Show me Grimmsnarl. Show me Grimmsnarl. Okay, he goes for the Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is gone. Grimmsnarl is gone. If we KO this thing, there's still a chance. Because we'll go back up to mainly full HP here. And then he might just sucker punch me. And we'll try to set up a lead seed. Ooh, let's go, Trevenant. Big HP here. Look at that. Look at that. Do I set up a leech seed or a burn? I think a burn will be the better call. Because that will drop its attack. And Sucker Punch might be his only attacking move. But I'm going to go for the burn. Let's see what he has. Let's just show me what you have, my dude. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Let's get it. Trevenant comes up clutch. Gets that 3-0 record. And we dominate. Trevenant with that clutch in the third and final battle. That was awesome. I love this thing's moveset with the Leech Seed, will o -Wisp, and Horn Leech. It's just such a good way to just like recover health and pester the other Pokemon, the opponent's Pokemon. And then that Harvest Berry, it's just like unlimited berries. It was so dope. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, I'm going to say this once again. I said this in the beginning of the video. All of the links to that's the plus one's channel, the EV spread, just everything him because he did make this team will be in the description below. So definitely go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.